Hello. So today I want to discuss about a problem that appeared in Inma 2012. It's a problem on number theory mainly involving prime numbers. So this will give you a general idea to how to solve these types of prime number problems. At the end of this video, I'll give you a similar type of problem on prime numbers. You can try that on your own. And if you have found out the solution, you can type the solution in the comment box. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. So let's begin. We are given that P1 less than P2 less than P3 less than P4 and Q1 less than Q2 less than Q3 less than Q4 are two sets of prime numbers. The set P4 minus P1 and Q4 minus Q1 both are 8. And P1 and Q1 are greater than 5. I have to prove that 30 divides P1 minus Q1. So let's begin. Firstly, as we are given that both are greater than 5, so both are odd primes. So, P2, P3, P4 both lies in the interval. It can be between P1 plus 1 and P4 is just P1 plus 8. So, in this interval, all the other primes lay. Now, as P1 is odd, so P1 plus any odd number is even. So, P1 plus 1, P1 plus 3, P1 plus 5, P1 plus 7, they cannot be price because they are all even so we have to exclude them so what can we say that p2 p3 p4 they can be p1 plus 2 is possible p1 plus 4 is okay p1 plus 6 is okay and p1 plus 8 is before we know that so we don't have to include it we know what is what it is so P2, P3 can be any one of these three numbers. P1 plus 2, P1 plus 4 and P1 plus 6. Now let's see whether all of them are possible or not. See, I have to prove that P1, P1 minus Q1 is congruent to 0 modulo 30. So first I will find P1 modulo 30. And as we are, these are two sequences of prime numbers and they behave like same. So let's, it's enough to work with the sequence P1, P2, P3 and P4 only because analogically the sequence Q1, Q2, Q3, P4 will also behave same. So I will state the same results for them. So first let's find what P1 modulo 30. We'll eventually know that Q1 modulo 30 is also same. Now to find P1 modulo 30, we need to find P1 modulo 2, 3 and 5. So P1 modulo 2 is 1, we know that because P1 is odd. So let's try to find modulo 3 and modulo 5. So our target is to find P1 modulo 3 and P1 modulo 5. Let's see what are the possible. Now P1, P1 cannot be 0 modulo 3. 0 mod 3 is not possible because P1 is greater than 5 and it is prime. Can P1 be 1 mod 3 or 2 mod 3? Let's see. P1 congruent to 1 mod 3 in place. This set, what does this give modulo 3? P1 plus 2 is congruent to 0 mod 3. P1 plus 4 is congruent to 5 means 2. And P1 plus 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, that is 1. It's okay. Can P1 be 2 modulo 3? P1 is converted to 2 modulo 3 implies P1 plus 3 is converted to 4 means 1. P1 plus 4 is 2 plus 4 that is 6 modulo 3 and that is 0 modulo 3. And P1 plus 6. P1 plus 6 is 2 plus 6 8 that is 2 modulo 3. So okay, but we also have P4 equal to P1 plus 8. If P1 is converted to 1. That would mean 
P4 is congruent to 1 plus 8, 9. So that means P4 congruent to 0 mod 3, but P4 is a prime bigger than 3. So it can never be congruent to 0 mod 3. P1 congruent to 1 mod 3 is not possible. In this case, what we get? In this case, we get P4 congruent to P1 plus 3, that is 8 plus 2, 10. That is congruent to 1 mod 3, and that is also fine. Okay. But if P1 is congruent to 1 mod 3, that would mean P4 is congruent to 0 mod 3. That would be a contradiction. So P1 cannot be congruent to 1 mod 3. It is not 0 either. So P1 must be congruent to 2 mod 3. So P1 is 2 mod 3. Now P2 and P3, they lie in this set. And modulo 3, they give these numbers give 1, 0, and 2. Now 0 cannot be. 0 cannot be occupied by P2 and P3 because none of them are 0 mod 3. So this must be given by P2 and this must be given by P3. So, what can you also conclude that? P2 equal to P1 plus 2 and P3 equal to P1 plus 6. P1 plus 4 is not possible. Because P1 plus 4 is congruent to 0 mod 3, plus P1 is congruent to 2 mod 3. So, this is an important observation. We have P1, P2, P3, P4 is just P1, P2 is P1 plus 2, P1 plus 6, P1 plus 8. Now, mod 3, okay, now we need to check the modulo 8. Sorry, modulo 5. What are the distinct possible values of P1 mod 5? P1 cannot be 0 mod 5 because P1 is a prime greater than 5. P1 congruent to 1 means what? What becomes of this double modulo 5? This is 1, this is 3, this is 1 plus 6, 7. And 7 is congruent to 2 mod 5. This is 1 plus 8, 9. 9 is congruent to 4 mod 5 and this is okay. A prime can give this residues modulo 5. That's fine. Can P1 be congruent to 2 mod 5? That would give me 2 plus 2 4 mod 5. 2 plus 6 8 mod 5 but 2 plus 8 10. So that, that gives me P4 that is P1 plus 8 divisible by 5 and that is a problem. So P1 cannot be 2. Can it be 3 modulo 5? Again, 3 plus 2, 5. This becomes 0. Whatever the other numbers are, I don't care because P2 is congruent to 0 mod 5 is not a solution. So this is not possible. Similarly, you can see that P1 congruent to 4 mod 5. That gives me 4, comma, 4 plus 2, 6. That is 1. 4 plus 6, 10. So, P3 is congruent to 0 mod 5. So, 5 divides P3. So, this is also not a solution. So, if I divide P1 by 5, the, this possible remainders we can get is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But we already get that 0, 2, 3, 4 are not possible. So, 1 is the only possible solution. So, P1 congruent to 1 mod 5 is the only solution. So, what do we get about P1? P1 congruent to 1 modulo 2, 2 modulo 3, and 1 modulo 5. See, because this sequence Q Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 also behave the same. I can replace piece by Qs and the results will be same. So I can conclude the same for Q. That Q1 is congruent to this thing. This works. Let me write it here. This also works. So in either cases, P1 minus Q1. What can we say about? In either cases, 2 divides P1 minus Q1, 3 divides P1 minus Q1, and 5 divides P1 minus Q1. 
but 2, 3, 5 are co-prime factors. So if I divide P1 minus Q1 by 2, 3 and 5, as 2, 3 and 5 are co-prime, none of them cancels same parts of P1 minus, P1 minus Q1. So all of them, the product all simultaneously divides this. And this is a standard result. Like if A and B are co-prime, then A divides C and B divides C that would also imply A B divides C. This is a very standard exercise. From that you can easily tell that S235 and co prime and all of them divides Q1 minus Q1. So their product that is 5 into 3 into 2 that is 30 that also divides Q1 minus Q1. And when done so 30 divides Q1 minus Q1. And we are done. As I have promised, I will tell you a similar problem. So the question is, does there exist three primes PQR such that they are in arithmetic progression and their common difference is less than 5. So you are asked to find whether there exist 3 primes such that they are in AP and their common difference is less than 5 or not. If it is not possible, you have to prove that and if it is possible, you have to find such examples. So try that on your own and if you have find out the solution, you can type that in the comment box. And if you are interested in problems involving prime numbers, if involved scrolling through this channel, there are a lot of contents involving that. Thank you. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training individual evaluation and remedial sessions the reason chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real olympiads from leading universities in india united states and europe some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.